and gentlemen, you may simply know me as Logan's Prime. Welcome back to y'all truly doing a reaction thing to Psycho Pass. God, shows like these are so intriguing, but they're so far and few. Like, Psycho Pass completely reminds me of the movie Blade Runner. It reminds me of that Tom Cruise movie... Uh, what was it called? The Minority Reports. And there are animes like this as well, like Ghost in the Shell, Akira, Wish Hunter Robin, Darker Than Black, just to name a few. Now, particularly, they all don't follow the same shtick. It's just, I don't want to even call it a, the buddy cop kind of anime, but it, it kind of has that feel to it. Now, the world of Psychopaths, I don't know too much of it, and I can't wait to dive in. I like the idea of the Dominator pistol or gun, whatever it is, where... Uh, it can it can read the level of someone's crime coefficient, so you can see who wants to murder people, and that's pretty cool too. So you don't shoot innocent people or innocent bystanders. That's a downside to a, a cool cap or a cool scene where someone can just go gun blazing and just go shooting everything. But I guess in this world you can't do that. I got confused in the last episode. I thought that the enforcers were the ones in charge. It's actually the opposite of that. The inspectors are in charge, they're always in charge. There's a few things I got confused on in the previous episode, but I got my little handy dandy notebook. I'm gonna write some notes down. And yeah. Shows like these are up my alley because, you know, I remember loving Ghost in the Shell, Standalone Complex. I loved the hell out of that show. Another show similar to that is Ergo Proxy. It's a show that has been in my bucket list for a very long time. I don't know why there's so many shows I want to freaking watch and I never have. But regardless, it is psychopath time. But without further ado, let's dive in. This is episode 2 titled Those Capable. Let's do the reaction. I was about to say, who's in the hospital? It's us, so we're really following from the last episode. This is Shinja? Forgot his name. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> so he got uh, hit with paralysis. He got paralyzed by Akane because he was acting up. What is up with the jellyfish? <laughs> Yo. That jellyfish just gave her the finger. It's kind of, must be a wicked ass world where... Ooh, she's thinking bad. It's got to be a wicked world where, you know, these little robots, these, this technology, it's in, it's in your head. Only you can hear these things. Oh, and I forgot about this. I am so hyped for the fact that today's episode is the theme song. Ooh. Awesome. Man. I never understood the whole dive thing in anime or whatever, like... I know it's metaphoric, the whole falling. Ever since like Kingdom Hearts, what the hell does it all mean? <laughs> Even Naruto, she put in did that. It's a, it's a big, I don't know, it's a big metaphor thing. It just looks really cool to see the characters fall down, but I I never knew what that meant. Ooh, this song's nice. Oh, I really like this song. Gotta get into this band. <laughs> Is she still not up yet? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> What's your desired room preference for today? Oh, oh, that is just wicked. You don't even have to like design your own house. It just does it for you. Wicked. Your Wait, did her bed turn into a bath? <laughs> that's pretty cool. Like it's like your own little butler. You just. Tell it to tell you things that you're more than likely going to forget throughout the day. Oh, but you got to eat fake food. That is not good. It's not healthy. Are they... I guess are they trying to show us the whimsy of Akane? Like, I mean, she's a girl. She's an individual. Oh my god, this world? Sexy. She's just so incomplacent. Yeah, I guess this will have to do. Hmm. Because there's a lot to know about this girl. Wicked! That house is so bland! Yeah, but I can't really tell you guys about it. It's classified. <laughs> I was just about to say that! It's classified! I'm kind of clueless on this stuff. You really don't give yourself much psychological care. But you're the paragon of mental health. I don't get it. How are you able to stay so healthy? I have no idea. Touché. Maybe I'm just thick skin. <sighs> Maybe I'm just not right for it. No, why? She's giving up already? I'd kill to have that problem! <laughs> I know you're dizzy, but I- All of your tests showed that you were a perfect fit for the Ministry of Economy or Technology, wow. but you opted for the Public Safety Bureau. 
I wish I had that many options. Well, why I not see she choose that? Oh, don't you st And you're telling us that you can't hack it as a civil servant? <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? Mm. What needs I mean, to be done is done by those kids. It could be a difference between, hey, being tested and then actually having field work. And that's what we saw in the previous episode. Sometimes some people are just not capable of enacting violence, you know? So that's what happened to Akane in a, in a previous episode. But that, I don't know, maybe she'll evolve and, and get better. We'll see. <laughs> but she's got to go to work and get reprimanded for her little situation. Oh... Gotta look professional. Yeah, I'm really liking this. <laughs> oh, isn't that the girl from... What's her name again? Yeah, Jajoe... 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 I forgot her. <gasps> Excuse me, but I'm trying to find the analyst Shion Karanamori. What? You found her. Baby but girls, we're doing the thingy thing thing! Just yesterday, ma'am. You're the newbie that shot down Shinya with the paralyzer last night. <laughs> well, you're a lot cuter than me, guess. Shinya tried to grab your ass, huh? Uh. No, that's not what... <laughs> you could start by having them put in a swimming pool in a bar area in the CID. Pretty please. <laughs> I don't know. I am... I don't know where... Oh, come on. He's gonna be fine. To land a direct hit right on his spinal cord. Oh. So we still got a little more. Never mind. I'm like, yeah. I, not exactly up to walking and talking. I figure he's got shocked before. He's not up for bed either. <laughs> but he did say, "Hey, shoot me if I act up," right? So. I suppose it'd be okay to peek. <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, well, I have no idea what she's writing. Recovering from being shot? Yes, he is. <laughs> 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 Here, you can use my. Oh look, she speaks. Oh, thanks a lot. I thought she was just gonna be quiet throughout the whole show. Well, hello. I wasn't aware that you. Oh look, it's Grandpa. It's the old man. Uh, yeah. Today's a little more like uh, Elevated area stress level warning inside Hiko Grice Hill in the Adachi ward. Whoa. That's what I get asking for a peaceful day. <laughs> you jank stick. Oh, man, Knock on wood. Our shift just ended. Hopefully. Yes, finally some action. <laughs> Something she doesn't want to do. <laughs> it's like the last thing she wants to be is on the field. She freaking train a freaking school crossing guard any day. Will we need to use the dominators for this? We should keep them on. Yeah, absolutely. You want to use your freaking gun? I don't understand the technology or having to. Fi oh, what the hell? Talking about stealth. <laughs> Um, I don't understand how they can't find... I mean, I don't understand how there's not technology where maybe a camera can detect someone's okay psychopath, you know? Without them not figuring out who it is. Oh, you found them? Yeah. He says you can just sense it. Ooh, it's a jealous lover. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, come on, just judo throw him. Come on now! Ooh wee! An emergency <laughs> I need you to please come with me. What? But why? I haven't done anything wrong. No, oh, ooh, they got him easily. I'm amazed you can spot Interesting. Like a criminal. Doesn't ooh. matter if you're a good guy though. Touché. Being able to think like a criminal is about the same as being one to the system. Yeah. That's why I've got such a crazy high crime coefficient. Okay, so that's what makes him so awesome to be part of the uh, police force. Okay. Now that explains why there's enforcers and inspectors. Don't let him slack off, run away, or cause trouble. And that's it. Easy peasy. Okay, that makes sense. So you're saying that it's my job to stand back and do nothing? No, that's not what he said at all. I mean, sort of. <laughs> it's like you're you're taking your dog out. It's fucked up. Oh, it's this guy. He like he finds her pretty, Off -duty. but he hasn't really been flirting with her. <laughs> you do realize that we enforcers are prisoners, right? Yeah, I was about to. Even when we're not on the clock, our access is restricted to the CID floor and our own personal quarters. I assume that this is like the equivalent of prison. Only you're allowed to leave the building when you're allowed to be used. Really, I'm glad you're here, Connie. Why'd you pick this job? Yeah. 
That's the don't think I'm right question though, of the day. Do you? Actually, so. I got an A ranking for all 13 ministries in six <laughs> What? Seriously? That's awesome. There was at least one other person that got the same grade. Ooh. That I might be able to understand what my purpose in the universe is. Nice. So she was looking for meaning. I wonder who this other person like is that, that was wrong? just as good at, in their grades. It's like her. I know. Probably agonized over all your <laughs> options. It's incredible. But she did. She, she chose this. This is still created. something. Talking about making sense of your life and finding out your purpose in the universe. <laughs> I got flagged in a psychopath test when I was five years old. Five? Criminal ever since. Wow. Not even Why did you decide to become an inspector? Why is he getting so aggravated? He's getting salty. Maybe there is more to it. I, I just, I'm going to assume that maybe there wasn't. Maybe she's trying to figure out, oh, my dad or mom got murdered or something. I don't freaking know. I'm so sorry. You don't see many inspectors apologize to enforcers. You must be pretty angry with me. She's very sympathetic. Yeah, did, did I just get in everyone's nah, way? No, come on. I screwed things up and put all of you in danger. No, you did it. Mm. Following orders and taking oh, That is such a shitty ass metaphor, I but it's, that's exactly what they are. Cold. Always obeyed it's like when a cop brings out the dog. Down men. I've forgotten what being a detective is actually about. It's about protecting people, not hurting them. Okay, look at him. He's not bitter. Mr. Kogami. Looking for a boss like you, I might be able to act like a real detective instead of just taking orders like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is pretty cheesy. I don't understand why she's crying. Thank you very much. Maybe it's like the right words she, she wanted to hear. Thank you. Not in a place like this. I refuse to die here. That one thought consumed me entirely. I still have unfinished business. I won't let it. Nothing's gonna stop uh, me until it's settled. Okay. So, your official report states that you made the right decision at the time. And that's your conclusion, Inspector. Yes. You're certain about it. Yes. That. Come on, stop yes, being a dick. The upper crime coefficient was only temporary. Mm -hmm. Yes. Inspector Sunomori fulfilled her duty. Ooh. That's all. <laughs> So she did, yeah, she didn't do a bad thing. The segue of an ending. I don't get it, but... Eh. Alright, today's episode was not so bad. It was kind of calming, kind of simple, kind of slow. And that's definitely appreciated in a, an immense world like Psychopaths, because I'm sure we're going to delve into, you know, a whole vocabulary of terminologies and things. Like, I'm sure there's going to be so much death to this show. I love futuristic worlds, and I, I can only imagine all the other quirky things this show's gonna show us. Pretty much, today's episode, it follows last episode, it's, it's literally the day after. So Kogami is still in the hospital after he, after he got paralyzed by Akane's uh, dominate. Kogami is a enforcer, and you know, he was going against Akane's directions and she pretty much paralyzed them. now in the episode she was kind of like stricken she felt like man did I do the wrong thing should I have done that see Akane is new to her position in the PSB the public safety barrier she is now an inspector part of a department tasked to task with managing crime in today's episode Akane was pretty much confronted as to why did you choose this job she could have chose anything else. She's a very intellectual, well-driven individual, but why pick such a taxing job? We actually got to dive into a little bit more of what enforcers are. Akane teamed up with Masaoka uh, again, which is pretty cool. I kind of like this old guy. He's pretty smart. He's pretty wise. So he pretty much described how enforcers are like lap dogs, you know, pretty much the aim and the gun. They're pretty much hounds, you know. Enforcers cannot go anywhere unless an inspector is around. And on top of that, enforcers are always kind of like locked away, prisoned away. Masioka was telling Akane to just like relax and, and chill out, let the enforcers do everything. But Akane seemed like she wasn't really into that. She was a little bit indifferent with the idea of not being able to help. So I likely doubt she would ever allow herself to just let someone else do the job and she does nothing. A very sympathetic individual, because later on she was still grieving over the fact of paralyzing Kogami. She visited in the hospital and his words kind of like 
inspire her and, and you know, relieved her of her stress. You know, Kogami used to be an inspector and now he's not. He's an enforcer. Kogami told Akane about what is the right thing and to be reminded of doing the right thing. So he, he kind of told her to chillax. Don't worry, baby girl. I'm not mad at you. You know, you did the, you did a good thing. You know, I was going to hurt this lady and you stabbed me. <laughs> it felt like such a very down to earth episode. We got to be in the mind of Akane. So I'm really, really curious to see where the direction of the season goes. You know, we got to see Kogami kind of like describe something that's really bothering him. Maybe a task that he hasn't, un you know, He's probably been left unfulfilled. Maybe he has some trauma, maybe some PTSD. So the characters have been developed. I can't wait to see what the characters are gonna investigate, interrogate, destroy, whatever. I'm really digging Psycho Pass. So alright guys, that about wraps up today's episode. What are your thoughts on episode 2? Do you guys hate it? Do you guys like it? What do you guys think of Akane? What do you think? Did she do the right thing of stopping Kogami? What do you think of the concept of enforcers? I mean, to think of the concept of enforcers, you gotta think of the concept of this world where, you know, strict laws are psychologically impacted. So because people are almost capable of creating crime, they're locked away. And because enforcers have the capability of thinking like a criminal, it's almost like a profession, it's, it's very convoluted. So what do you think of that, you guys? You guys, are, is it a good idea or a bad idea? Let's uh, discuss. So make sure you leave me any positive or negative feedback down in that comment section. And as always, keep blessed. Thanks so much for watching and for well for now. Bye.